Hi everyone and welcome to video number 16 of the AdWords Editor video training course brought to you by ppccampaigngenerator.com. In this video I want to talk about bid management and how you can make bulk changes within AdWords Editor. So first, let me point out that I do not have a keywords column here. You can right click the headers and then select keyword to see the keywords and the performance associated to each keyword. but I'm going to keep that hidden for this example because we are using real data. So the first thing you will want to do to determine whether or not to increase or decrease bids on keywords and how you determine whether or not to raise bids or lower bids or pause keywords, let me show you how to do that. First, you need to get statistics. So in this example, I'm going to get the last 30 days worth of data now, the time period you select will depend on how often or how frequent you make bid changes. If it's been a year since you've last made your changes, then you'll want to get a year's worth of data. If it's been last week, then you probably want to get maybe a week or two weeks worth of data so you can use to make bid changes. So here we have our data. This data is 30 days worth of data and it's associated to each keyword. So what we want to do before we can make any bid rules or bid changes is first define our goals. This is extremely important. You can't just go making bid changes based on nothing. You have to have a goal in mind and your goal has to be pretty well defined. For this example, let's say the goal is a $5 CPA or cost per acquisition, cost per action, cost per conversion, those are all interchangeable. So what we can do in AdWords Editor is go up to this advanced search. We can select cost per conversion and we're using one per click and we can say is greater than five dollars. Hit search and this is going to show us all keywords that have a cost per conversion greater than five dollars. In other words, these are keywords that are not meeting our CPA goals. We can see the ceiling is at fifty eight dollars for that keyword and the floor is five dollars and two cents. So out of three hundred and forty four thousand keywords in this particular account 248 keywords are not meeting our CPA goals. So what we can do is make bid changes. The way you do that is you select this first keyword here and there's no set rule that you can really come up with um, but you can use ranges. For example, let's say anywhere from 10 to the highest we're going to decrease by X percent. So in order to make the bid change, you have your keywords selected, you go to advanced bid changes, decrease bids, let's say 50 percent. Change bids and it will tell you how many that will apply to. Now I have conversion optimizer running on many of these campaigns so you won't see any bid changes. In order to change those bids we actually have to change the CPA targets and those are done on the ad group level but we won't go into that right now. We're just pretending that it's changing these keywords and let's pretend that we don't have conversion optimizer on these particular keywords. So that's how you would make a bid change using advanced search and then let's say anything less than ten dollars and greater than five we could select them and we could say decrease these keywords by let's say fifteen percent and our goal here is to decrease the keywords to get them down to our CPA target which is five dollars and over time as you do this this will decrease the average position of these keywords and it will hopefully get you within range of your CPA target. Another rule you can use is you can go to advanced search. Let me go up here 
advanced search, and you could say, show me keywords that have not converted and cost is greater than $5. So we'll say conversions, one per click, equals zero, because that means the keyword has not converted, and cost is greater than, we'll just say $10 in this situation. And we can see 17 keywords have a cost greater than $10 and have not converted. So these keywords you might want to sort by cost and see what is the highest cost keyword that has not converted within the past 30 days. And you might come up with a range and figure out, okay, between, for example, 10 and $20, I'm going to decrease the bid by, you know, we'll say 20%. Change bids. Assuming you don't have conversion optimizer going, the bids will change. And then you can say from 40 to 20, we can decrease the bids from this to that. So that kind of gives you an idea of how to make bid changes. There are certain rules that I've come up with personally that you can use and you can download my rules that I use to manage paid search campaigns and it's not a one size fits all type of thing because a conversion or an action that you deem valuable is different within every different type of market. For example, insurance, a conversion is probably worth a lot of money versus maybe a coupon download is worth very little to you. It all depends on what action you're defining. So if you want, visit ppccampaigngenerator.com and look for my rules on how to manage paid search campaigns. But essentially, these metrics here allow you to make rules and then filter your campaign after you get the statistics and then make bulk changes to your keywords as you see fit in order to get them within the performance that you want. So that is advanced search and that is performance statistics. Thanks for watching.